said is Skyrim is one of the most boring games I've ever played in my life. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you hear that, Todd Howard? We're coming for you. Hell yeah. We're coming for you, Todd. I don't know how to go back without bringing the mouse back up. <laughs> Isn't it Todd Coward now? Or oh. is it Cod Towered? I don't know. I can't remember. Cod I don't I don't remember where the internet has fallen on this one. Uh, well, I'll the, show you that meme group. The internet has fallen onto, uh, <laughs> onto monster problems. So, hey, everybody, I'm yes. Tony. My pronouns are they, them. I'm Mal. My pronouns are also they, them. I'm I hope they didn't get hurt falling on the monster prom. Oh, Who I'm are you, Fiona? Fiona? I have pronouns. They're they, the day. Sick. So we're playing monster prom, and we're doing three players. Woo! And uh, we're going to oh. do... Actually... Ooh. We're going to do a full game. Yeah! Oh, yeah we're doing a full game. And oh, I believe we each we have our each own have our controllers. Own controllers. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, who's gonna, who's gonna, uh, I'll do it. Okay. Ah, uh, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. So Ooh. who were we? Grasp who were it with we? both hands. Layer one, grasp it with both hands. So I get to choose a character. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. Who, cool. who is blue? But for, because this is a 90 ass minute game, I'm custom gonna, name. I'm, I'm gonna actually say Tony. Okay. And, and I ask that you both do the same. I'm sorry. That's fine. I'm I sorry. Don't. No, my name is really good. I like to use it, so it's all it's all good. And my name isn't Tony like Tion White. It's Tony. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, whatever. That's fine. <laughs> yes, I'm player two. two. Ooh, this is hard. Do I want Shadow Dude or Fire Lady? I mean, didn't, mm. that, didn't that Marvel movie just come out? Shadow Dude and Fire Lady? No, I, would, I would go see that. <laughs> I mean, it sounds kind of cool. I, isn't that just Fantastic Two? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> the, the, the All Right Two. It's somewhat go. okay uh, for. So my choices are zombie person, zombie person or, or shadow, shadow person. person. I like shadow person. A shadow, a shadow person is pretty cool. I like Yellow. shadow person. Oh, but I have to use my name. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I, I like how it gives you Pokemon starter style names. Yeah. Uh, yes. Fool. Uh, sure, we'll do that. I always thought it was funny how I's and L's look so similar to each other in yeah. fonts. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left. And as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Damien LaVey, 21? God, these are old high schoolers. That's a fearless monster. demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. I think they're trying to make it more okay that this is a dating sim game. Yeah. <laughs> high schoolers, I, which is I, inherently I'm, I'm into that, bullshit. actually. Just, just pull four years off of the, of the numbers. Like, no, just, like, no shut up. It's fine. Don't monster, worry about it. Monster lifespans are different from human lifespans. Right. This is, this is, uh, this okay. is when they're finishing up high school. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Scott Howell, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. <laughs> Liam D Liam DeLioncourt, 4XX. It's 4XDX. I see. A hipster Ooh. vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Polly Guy is 22. A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. What? And Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean, self-aware Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clear it had to be one of them. But who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. God, conquer? that's intense. <laughs> but as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. I feel ready to start. I feel, yeah, same. So... So we're going we're gonna to go through some intro stuff, but basically we're going to choose what we do for every given day for three weeks. Mm -hmm. kind, of, kind of almost Persona-ish. All right. All right. Or so the so we're, we're just going to do a pop quiz and for each of us. So if you had... To, oh. Uh, mm -hmm. um, All right. If you had to have sex with an animal, <laughs> which would it be? A human being, because I'm the kind of douchebag who loves to find loopholes. A swan, that's classy. A great white shark. If I have to fucking... No. <laughs> God, what? God! You know, I'm gonna choose a human being for the other reason. 
Um, no, what's your choice? I'm, you know, I'm gonna choose. A human what you're gonna being be boring? Too. You're gonna be boring, Mal, and what, choose a human being. No, I feel like this is actually the right answer because I am the kind of douchebag who loves to find some loopholes oh, and stupid questions like this one. All right, uh, I'm a shadow person, so let's. Sure. I mean, the Crane Wife is one of my favorite albums, so let's just fly with this. The yeah. Crane Wife? Is that a literal Crane Wife? So smart, so creative, so charming. I'm creative. All right, if you could put a curse on your worst enemy, uh, the curse of always uh, medium noxious people at parties who are super into new fat <laughs> diets that feel the need to explain them in detail. Oh, that's good. They can't rely on the effectiveness of a curse. I prefer to take care of my enemies the old-fashioned way by exposing them to unsafe doses of radiation over the course of several years. <laughs> I feel so attacked. I'd curse them to fall... <laughs> <laughs> in love with a wonderful person, be happily married for years before they realize that all this time their partner was a wild panther in disguise. Oh, that's just like that one horror movie with the gargoyle. Oh, oh. classic. I know. Then the panther viciously devours my enemy. I'm going to go with these uh, radiation over the course of several years. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's me personally. Um, is that you personally or is that your character? Uh, you know, I'm going to largely be playing as me. I see. I see. Okay. I think so. Mm-hmm. 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 What's up with that panther in the top left? That's, Is that the panther? Yeah, exactly. And that's the panther. Hey, honey, <laughs> oh, there's something you need to know. Oh, it totally <laughs> is. <laughs> That's pretty great. I really like it when, like, uh, like an Octodad sort of thing. Like, like Octodad is clearly an octopus. Nope. But, but honey, d- like, go to the store and get some milk. Such a good dad. Ah. Uh, right, come on. What, yep, what, what yep, you yep. Choose? It's the panther. Yeah. Uh, I feel like this is more me, but I'm also really petty. Mm-hmm. I think this is super petty. This yeah. is like the curse of medium it's real good. people at parties. It's, not it's real dangerous. good. Yeah. Yeah. So charming. So wow, bold. God, I'm so smart so far. If you were an ice cream, which flavor would you be? Oh my uh, gosh. Well, I mean, if we're playing me specifically, like probably meat. Mm, uh, uh, <laughs> oh. Spicy chocolate, no chocolate on fire, rainbows. Go. What's it gonna be, Mal? Trapped in the new world of Street Fighter Three. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it's gonna be rainbows and gummy bears. Yep. Ah, yep. damn it, Tony! I, I feel like this is <laughs> double creme de la Gruyere and meringue, like that. Yeah, I'm into Street. weird food. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. Oh. oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. The smart vampire. Good person. to know. I think I got some werewolf points there. I got, I got a, I got a genocidal mermaid point, I suppose. So this is where the game it looks exactly like, like the yog. So I have my stats in the top right, uh-huh. and I need to get those to a certain number, I believe, in order to woo the person I want to woo. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. And so I can go auditorium, class, library, outdoors, gym, or bathrooms. And you know, I gotta say, despite being the first week of Monster High School before, well, I guess, well, week before prom, uh-huh. uh, I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh shit! So that day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Hell yeah! I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero <laughs> shits, but you gain plus two boldness. Hell yeah! Oh, that's pretty good. You look up to find Liam and Scott waving their phones in each other's faces. Uh, I think we should pick characters. Okay. Like, I'll be the vampire. Uh, okay, I'll be the werewolf man. Oh, all right. What about this one? Nah, I definitely swiped left on that one, bro. But this is my best picture. But it's not even a picture of you. It's just a photo of a sop sign wearing the top hat. Um, it's artistic? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if it was a picture of a fire hydrant. Well, it's not, as if your pictures are in any way superior. What are you even doing in this one? Uh, smiling. See? Unacceptable. But I like smiling. Are you sure it's wrong? (laughs) Look at those eyes. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Of course I am. Look, I'll even bring in an impartial third party. You! You're renowned for your Tinder success. What's your secret? Uh, so I could go with I don't just smile with my face, I also draw a smiley face on my bare chest, or I shock and amaze them with my custom Instagram filter, sepia mustache enigma. Mustache. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I don't just smile with my face, I also draw a smiley face on my bare chest. Oh. But but then, how will they know which smile is my real smile? (laughs) What if after I take the picture, I take a shower and the smile goes away? 
and I'd get a date. And my date's like, hey, what happened to that sweet smile on your abs? And I'm like, uh, um, I had it removed surgically. I can't do it, bro. It's not ethical. Mm, yes, that's what's wrong with this plan. Uh, <laughs> Looks like Scott's too dumb for your dumb plan. You lose two smarts and one fun. Wow. Let's All right, so that was it. just a bad choice. Yeah, okay. No. Let's see. Uh, I'm not very creative. Auditorium, gym. Well, it depends on who you want. Outdoors. Date, right? That's library, true. class. There are many mm. types of creativity, such as smarts, fun, mm. and money. I'm smart, and I'm bold, and I'm charming, and I'm money. Uh, that is I'm gonna, how I usually I'm going to hang out you. outside. We're all skipping class today. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. Hell yeah. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. Damn. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension? Consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. Plus two fun. Mal's super fun. I'm fun. Huh. Later, you hear some kind of muffled squawking, and you see that Damien's backpack seems to be thrashing violently. Hello, classmate. Uh, yay! I'll be, I'll be. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. No, you be that person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you be the yay, mermaid? Mal is here. I've been waiting all, the, all day to show someone Damien's cock. Oh, my God. Boy. What? Uh, Miranda, do you ever listen to yourself? Miranda pulls Damien's cock out of his backpack, and the rooster begins printing himself contentedly. Isn't he the sweetest little thing? <laughs> Look at the eyes! eyes! Yeah, we're gonna use him for cockfighting. Ooh, boo. Specifically, we're going to have him cockfight the cockfighters to teach them a lesson. Hell yeah. About why you shouldn't make cocks cockfight. And we just gotta find a way to make sure that our cock wins the anti-cockfighting cockfight. Lift your rooster spirit with a romantic proposal. Give your cock a cock <laughs> ring. This cock isn't an expert on violence. You are, Damien. Go undercover as a rooster. Oh what? <laughs> All right. Which one are you going to do, Mal? And it's not like an either or necessarily where you're picking one or one or one of these two's like. I really affection. like the second one. All right. Let's see. Going undercover. Oh man, how did I? Oh wait, that's Oh man, list. how did I not think of that? I love finding opportunities for violence. With that, you, Damien, and Miranda get to work on Damien's incredible chicken outfit. It's sort of a yellow jumpsuit with feathers haphazardly glued to it, but people are dumb, so it might work. Follow them to the cockfight, but on arrival, you see... A chess tournament? The cocks are fighting each other at chess? But I hate chess. It's like a tiny little war with no violence at all and too much waiting around and planning. Nobody but Polly is into that shit. I hate planning. I just want to rush blindly into violence. Maybe I'll still put on the chicken outfit and find some other fucker to mess up. Bacaw! Squawk! Okay, that's your cue to go because it definitely seems like Damien's rage could very well be directed at you. Okay. Oh. So you lost boldness and fun, but you got some Damien points. I guess. Well, I think I think it might be like you're spending some things at some points to gain affection. Oh. So I have creativity and charm. You may also notice that if you, as you go later into the turn, you can't go to the same place. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go to the auditorium. Hell yeah. We'll see who's hanging out. Skipping class. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative blowjob. Wow. What? what? This game is horny. Your performance is it, intense oh and God. inspiring. <laughs> what have I done? It will be re-remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. I like the little thing on the hat. It's, yeah, that's your little shadow yeah, bud. Yeah, little shadow bud. Wait, why didn't they just call this Monster College? Or Okami or something. Or whatever. You gain plus two creativity. Damn. Creative as fuck. Hell yeah. Against the unexpected, you spot Scott and Liam engaged in what seems to be an intense conversation. They seem to be so into it that you can't resist the urge to ask them what's going on. We're discussing this recent novel, Two Lights. That's that's you. Yeah. <laughs> it, it isn't a novel. It's a rad movie with a lot of cool dudes with amazing abs. Well, it's actually based on a novel, and it's anything but rad. It's cultural trash. <laughs> but I decided to like it, ironically. Aww. The thing is, there's this human girl with two guys who like her. 
But the guys are part of two enemy human races. Oh, <laughs> wow. The wild shirtless humans and the mysterious deep look giving humans. Oh. <laughs> and it seems these type of humans can't stand each other. Oh, and the deep look giving humans shine in the sunshine. <laughs> Did you know that's actually a lesser known trait of some humans? The thing is, the next movie will be released soon and we're super hyped. Hmm. Ironically. We can't wait, bro. We need to satiate our hunger for two lights. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is your opportunity to show these two you're well versed when it comes to satiating urges. Go for it. Uh, so you could. Uh, sh- oh, I get to. Yep, you yep. gotta make a choice. You could cosplay. Uh, let's go shirtless, or you could write a nuanced uh, play based on it. Totally, totally not, not fanfic. <laughs> totally not fanfic. Oh, I see it. <laughs> A nuanced pastiche involving the characters of two lights, throwing a new light over their fears and desires. Three lights. <laughs> and over their abs. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. With an unexpected twist that will elevate the strengths of the original o- over. <laughs> Something subtle yet powerful. <laughs> Something like the rival humans ditching the girl and fucking each other's brains out. Yeah, I like that. It's artistic because of reasons. Wow, I can't believe. <laughs> what, what was that character's name? Lucian? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I'm only thinking that because of Dream Daddy. Oh. Okay, anyways. <laughs> and if they're nude, that means more muscles and stuff. I like that. <laughs> sure, it sounds like a high form of art and nothing like thirsty fanfic. You've got some kind of promoter of the arts. You gain plus two creativity. Oh, plus plus you art. gained things this time. Let's trade places. Everybody chooses a brand. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Oh, okay. Uh, player orders decide based on how silly a mascot for the selected brand would be. If the selected brand already has a mascot, compare it to the imaginary mascot of the other brands. Start debating now. What? 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 Well, we have to pick a brand. Okay. Uh, I don't like to think about brands is the thing. Uh, okay, no, we can, we can do this. Um, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, Lush has a new mascot, and Lush's mascot is a bath sponge. Oh! Um, a talk- a loofa? A loof. A loofa, yes. Uh-huh. It's, it's a, it's a loofa with eyes and hands, and it says, let me, let me s- scrub you. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, and it's really itchy. All right, so I've got mine. I, okay. I think this is how this works. All right, um, my my mascot is going to be four field rows. Wait, I thought it had to be the set, the same brand, just three different mascots. Oh. So you have to think up a different mascot for Lush. Yes, yeah, so oh. what's, what's your mascot for Lush? Damn it. Don't... Bu- <sighs> Yes, tr- truly I picked the best mascot for Lush. <laughs> truly. Yes, you the did. Shitty, the shitty thing I came up with off the, off the top of my head. Um, God, what is mine? I don't, I don't, Fee. Fee, do you right. have thoughts? All right, we're, skip it. we're gonna skip so, this. No, no, this no, 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 hold on. All right, well then hurry. Mr. Clean, I think, which is funny because Mr. Clean is canon ace. But like oh. I'm thinking of Mr. Clean as like gay icon, like gay leather daddy. Oh, Mr. Clean what? for lush. Oh my. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go in a similar but different direction, and say that the the lady that they've been putting on the brawny toilet paper has decided that she wants to exfoliate, and so she is the lush mascot. But she looks a lot more witchy now. So just a witch lady. What? <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm going to hit random anyway. Yeah. Because <laughs> those are bullshit. <laughs> random. Yeah. <laughs> Truly, Mal, you came up with the best mascot. The witchy brownie lady. So week one, noon. Let's do this. It's lunchtime. How many game Oh, who picks? are we going to sit with? <gasps> oh, fuck. Wait, there's a cat person. Who's that? Oh, yeah, I think there are more people than just the ones that oh, we've seen. Oh, yeah, there's seen. someone in, like, a hood over there. There's yeah. Some... Like, I'm not sure if you can ask them to prom, but I know you can go to prom with other people and things than, than the ones that were outlined. Who are you talking mm-hmm. to now? Who are you going to hear? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, make a choice fast. I'm I'm thinking about fish lady. I'm thinking about cat lady. Uh oh, you only have another five seconds oh, to make shit. that choice. Oh shit! Okay, you've just sat down to eat with Damien and Liam. Well, to eat with Damien, Liam's just taking pictures of his food. <laughs> with a when a leather clad figure drops from the air vent onto your table, it's the Slayer. Prepare to die. Lunch time's over, dirtbags. Time to die. 
This always happens when we sit together. Your death-based rhetoric is offensive. Don't spoil my food pick. Oh, I'll spoil more than your food pick, Count Stankula. I'm about to spoil your face. Just his, though, right? Both your faces. <laughs> Fuck! The Slayer is right between the three of you. You can't save Liam and Damien, but if you act fast, you might just be able to save one. All right, which one are you gonna do? <laughs> Immobilize Damien with the Lord's <laughs> Prayer while Liam escapes. You've been waiting for this moment your whole life. Flip the table for justice. Normally when you flip tables, it's out of anger or mischief. But this is about to be the most righteous table flip ever performed. No, my footing. <laughs> no, my artfully arranged cafeteria food. Yes, fucking up school property. The Slayer ends up pinned under the table, along with Liam. Damien jumps down there and starts punching indiscriminately, not caring who he hits. So, you know, just another normal day for Damien. I've never felt so alive. Offensive. Whatever. Let's flip all the rest of the tables in the cafeteria while the flipping's good. You righteously flip every single table in the cafeteria. With each table you flip, you find Damien is flipping a little more. For you. For you. For you. Damn, okay. okay so that um, table is just gone. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's also it's full. full. Uh, I want to talk to... Who's the... I want to talk to Cat Person. Yeah, let's yeah, find out about Cat Person. It. <gasps> it's the shop! It's Braddy and Caddy! Welcome Caddy. to my little shop. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats. Shit that will lead you into stupid new adventures. Even some shit that might be much needed at some very specific moments. So, take a look. Ooh. Fuck, the... It's catty. All right, okay. so you have, you have so five bucks. A sexy fake Latin accent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. A fake badass tattoo. It, Whoa, is, that's pretty serious. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, a Bob Ross poster. motivational poster. Okay. Okay. Everything is five. Okay. Wait, what's the, what the? A corpse? Whoa. It's like some kind of fashion accessory. It's not as if I'm trying to dispose of it. It's just a corpse. <laughs> and then I don't have money for some of these other things right now. Uh -huh. PR agent. So you could. Stun of shades. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you, Fiona. You could be a coward and buy pretty much anything here. Or you could not be a coward and buy the zombie corpse. Uh. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> It's literally just a plank with two eye holes in it. You'd have to be an idiot to mistake this for a ghost. Uh, I think I want to take the corpse because it says a vent on Hell it. Hell yeah. yeah! I'm going to buy a corpse. Uh, nothing better than the smell of money. Well, actually, there are better smells, but you know what I mean, right? I do. Hell yeah, cat lady. Okay, well, I want to see who this is. Uh, you were planning to sit by yourself today, but the only table you can oh. find is partly taken by the coven. Ooh. You do feel kind of sorry for them. After all, no one seems to want to sit with them. We are here to save the day. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, oh, good. It's you. Yes. You can practice one of our spells on you. And this is probably why. Oh, don't look so worried. We're preparing for an upcoming battle with the disgruntled Lord of the Seventh Circle. And if we don't do our homework, we'll have a hell of a time beating him. The audience laughs. Wait, audience? Anyway, we've got two spells we've been meaning to try out. Magical enhancements to help us beat this big bad. Do you think we could try one on you? Pretty, pretty, please. Aw, says the audience. You know, a magical enhancement doesn't sound half bad. You can choose either of the two options. Spell lets you see the future and also the past and the present. And, and you, you can, can watch, watch live TV anywhere. <laughs> nah, you want to go for something a bit different. Let's do the spell that turns you into two helicopters. Shit. Whoa. Oh, man. I like the I like the being able to see the past, mm -hmm. present, uh, future, and present. The choice is made. Broadbandium maximum. Suddenly, you can see everything. Everything. You can see how the world went. You can see how the world began. You can see your parents having sex, even though you totally don't want to. What's more, you can watch every single episode of Where Weasel, Weasel Detective, at, at once. once. Hello, are you still alive? Lunch is ending. We're going to study for the next period. You should probably should too. Who needs to study? You literally know everything already. You gain plus four smarts and an entirely different perspective on your parents. Oh no. Oh. All right, let's trade places. Everybody chooses an occupation. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Uh. Play oh oh before clicking. Oh, I understand. Yeah, right, we're gonna do right in this time, but yeah. I understand now. We will do First. it properly next time. Hell yeah, second, better than third. Uh, yes, Cast. I do like going third. Mm -hmm. Evening. 
I guess so. I guess Ooh, every, every week has all these components. Yeah. Okay. So where do I want to go right now? In the now? shops in the auditorium. Interesting. Yeah, so it changes. Mm-hmm. Are you going to go there again? You don't no, have... no, no, no. Oh, I don't okay. need to buy anything else. Um, I'm gonna go... I've got my corpse, and that's I all I need, I'm says good. Fiona. Yeah. Maybe I should go... Back. I'm going to go to the lab. I'm going to go to class. We'll see what's actually happening at class. That day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. At this high school. You gain plus two smarts. Nice. That's just a ghost in the background. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two. Later that night, you head out to the club with Polly and Liam. Using your fake IDs, also known as Polly's boobs, you have no problem getting in the door. Oh. Holy shit. Wow. The real trouble begins as you get to the bar and Polly starts teasing Liam. Hey. I'm telling you, boy, you got no game. <laughs> and I'm telling you that I reject the ludic sexual paradigm underlying your assertion. All I'm saying is that if you're really as cool as you act all the time, mm -hmm. you should have no problem getting digits from that gender indeterminate locust swarm down at the bar. Well, of course I could, if I wanted to. But you see, the key to my allure is that I don't want anything. Oh. Sounds to you like Liam's just scared. You decide to go over there and show them both how it's done. Bye. Okay, you, so you could coat yourself in insect pheromones. Don't go after the people and make people go after you. <laughs> you could dance so hard that you also separate into a cloud of locusts. <laughs> oh, man. That one's... I like this I mean, one better. Like, this one's more me, for sure. Uh -huh. But, like, I'm gonna go with this I one. Feel like I feel like that one cool. adds some really cool lore to, like, who you are as a shadow as person, As a shadow too. person, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you dance until your body is a swarm of locusts. This is no problem. <laughs> While you're busy being one of the plagues of Egypt on the dance floor, though, Polly floats up to you sheepishly. I've got a message for you from the locust swarm at the end of the bar. It says it's not really into other sentient swarms. That's kind of why it came to a non-swarm bar in the first place. Oh, shit. Yeah, and if I can just add to that, you're trying way too hard. <laughs> If Liam thinks you're trying hard now, wait till you have to convince your body to stop being a swarm of insects later. You lose two smarts and one fun. Oh no. Alright, so you got some poly I am no there. fun. I am smart and very balanced at basically everything else. I think I have gingivitis. Oh no. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Alright. Hmm. Bathrooms. <laughs> Gym. I wish I didn't have gingivitis. Huh. How, auditorium or library is what I'm thinking. I'm take care of my gingivitis problem. Oh, what? what? What are you talking about? <laughs> you play the game. Come on, we're playing the game. Then don't whisper things about your fucking gum health underneath I, my gameplay. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, you know exactly. I'm going to go to the fucking library. Whoa. That day you spend some time on the library's PCs, sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. Easy steps to enlarge your tentacles. Girls love a really long tentacle, or eight. Uh. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? You lose ten karma, which isn't a stat in this game, so who cares? And you gain two money. Ooh, two money. So it totally worked, basically. <laughs> yeah, the quiet of the library. Ha ha, nah, just kidding. This is spooky high. There's never quiet anywhere is interrupted by profanity lace screaming. You good for nothing, fuck garbage, piece of shitballs machinery! Oh, hey Mal, did you catch last night's sportive seats? Don't tell me if you did! I had to miss it for reasons entirely unrelated to the arson committed at the nursing home last night. And now I need to use the internet, but I feel like no matter what I do, there are spoilers lurking everywhere! I need to check my email. But what if Scott got so excited about a plot twist, he emailed me about it and put the spoiler in the subject line? I want to go on my favorite arson enthusiast website, but what if they're talking about how sick the dragon's fire was last night when it roasted some character I don't want to know who was? Do you see my problem here? The net is dark and full of terrors. I can't put my... <laughs> I like that. I can't put my whole fucking life on hold over fucking sportive seats, but I'll burn this place to the ground before I let this episode get ruined for me. Honestly, that ultimatum seems somewhat weak since Damien would probably burn the whole place to the ground with no prompting whatsoever. But you might as well give him a hand anyway. Create an algorithm that disseminates hundreds and hundreds of fake spoilers about sports of seats so even if Damien does stumble across real spoilers, he won't know it. Let's mess up your brain so good you won't even know how to read. Mm, that's a tough choice. Actually, I don't think it's a tough choice personally. Really? 
Oh, yeah. What, what would your choice be? <laughs> I'll tell you after you make your choice. Oh, no, I hate that. No one has to make a choice. Wow. I hate Imagine making that. choices. <laughs> you guys are putting so much pressure on me. <laughs> what's what's in character? <laughs> Mal, come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you have five seconds. Uh oh. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. Oh, Seven, wow, I guess I don't have eight, five seconds. Nine. Jeez, oh, no. it's what's, almost what's as if you have no power over me. Ten, eleven. <laughs> what's in character for flame person? For flame person? You're smart and <sighs> balanced. Flame person is pretty good at the technology. Do it. Okay. You sit so down smart. at the computer next to Damien's and get to work using all the skills you learn in AP hacking and cyber terrorism. Hell yeah. What are you doing? As is classic Mal, you don't actually engage in a dialogue, but rather continue on your noble mission. You quickly create an AI for your plan named Roberto, which is an a acronym for nothing. You just like the name Roberto. Not Roberto? Sure. <laughs> Ruggiero. Soon your genius uh -oh. program is ready. Debbie the Dragonaut is actually the heir of the hilltop. What? What's this? Did you just pull a spoiler in front of my very eyes? Debbie the Dragonaut is actually a white and has been dead for a thousand years? Oh, I see. This one says, in last night's episode, time, uh, Tim died. But this other one says, in last night's episode, it was revealed all this time Tim was actually an actor from another TV show that was mistakenly on the sportive seat set, which so many characters nobody realized until now. You flooded the internet with so many spoilers that even the spoilers are no longer spoilers. Dude, that's, that's genius. With this many things bouncing around my head, I'm pretty sure none of this will actually stick. And I can be appropriately entertained and surprised by whatever incest and murder I missed last night. And you know how much I love murder. Maybe we can watch it together sometime. Oh shit. Aw, yes. He gained plus two fun and plus one charm. Hell yeah. Let's go. Right. Go, Tony, go. Tony's right. super smart. I am mm -hmm. go I'm going to wreck some shit. I'm gonna wreck some shit in the gym. Cool. That day in Epic Dodgeball, Max, 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 take Max, everything <laughs> seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirits. Leading to a spectacular comeback. Hell yeah. The clearly natural born leader to charm. Hello. Uh, afterwards, you know, Scott held next to Vera. These two hardly ever hang out. You wonder what's up. Scott seems to be showing Vera some kind of sports diagram. But we just keep losing football games over and over. Coach says we're just not sporting hard enough, but I'm sporting as hard as I can. I figured, since you're super smart and everything, maybe you could... Fix your entire team in 10 minutes? Well, obviously I can do that. I'm incredible. Listen, what you need is an oblique strategy, a new technique that your opponents won't expect. Like poison darts, or a vicious campaign of psychological warfare, or... or... And has your chance to impress them. Jump in with an idea that will show them how much you know about winning sports. What you guys need is blackmail material. One well-placed camera in the opposing team's locker, all right, is a player who's really a truck. No one would be able to stop them. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Dude, what a killer idea. So bold. My buddy Trekosaurus has wanted to join the team for a while now. <laughs> yeah. But coach kept saying no on account of being too lethal or whatever that means. Now that we're losing all the time, though, I'm sure Coach will change his mind. Uh, you've saved Scott's team and probably doomed hundreds of rival teams to death by Trachosaurus. <laughs> Score, you gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. Nice. That weekend, something happened to... Uh-oh. Tony! And if you want to find out what happened to me, join us on the next episode of Ooh. Monster Hunter. From. So thanks What's for watching fun? everybody. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. I heard you almost say Monster Hunter. I <laughs> <laughs> We Monster also have a Patreon. It's there in the end card and in the video description. See you later. Everybody. Thanks, dudes. Bye.